Now let's turn to Australia and a story of whales ending up much further inland than we think they've ever been. The story is from Kakadu National Park in the Northern Territory, more specifically the East Alligator River, which confusingly, as you can see from these pictures, is actually full of crocodiles. Well, now for the first time, humpback whales have been spotted there. It's the first known instance of a whale being found this far inland in Australia. They were seen by a local marine ecologist who was out fishing with friends, and he's spoken to ABC News. I noticed a big spout, a big glow on the horizon. I thought, that's a big dolphin. <laughs> I was completely blown away to, to see this. I never, ever expected to find anything like this up a river in Kakadu. It just completely floored me. Unfortunately, these animals could be in danger if they become stranded in shallow water. The crocodiles may attack. And now a team of experts are trying to work out how to shepherd these whales back to the ocean. Well, Henry Swartz from the ABC is covering the story. They're currently about 20 kilometres in, so they're, they're quite a ways in, and they're just sort of circling around, feeding. They seem to be having an okay time, but unlike dolphins, humpbacks do not have echolocation, so they're relying on vision most likely. And the problem with that is this river is incredibly murky. Visibility is very, very poor. So really the challenge is facing scientists right now, what are they gonna do to try and coax these humpbacks uh, out of this river system. And they're currently looking at two different options. The first option is that they use essentially just metal rods and bang them against the side of the boat or use other, other loud noises to try and sort of shepherd those whales back out. Or alternatively, they're also looking at um, using hum uh, killer whale uh, calls um, to uh, sort of scare those whales back out as well. And um, that has been shown to be effective in keeping humpbacks out of certain estuaries and so on in the past as a deterrent, but it hasn't been used in this circumstance to actually shepherd whales. My well, fingers crossed it works. We'll keep you posted on that.